Hello again everyone, and today I am finally going to be showing you how to get the iPhone iPad simulator for Snow Leopard. Um, quick notes, this is only for Snow Leopard. Um, I'd recommend getting the latest updates, 10.6.3 at least, right now. And um, it's a 2 gigabyte file, so if you have a slow internet connection like me, it will take a while. So, um, not much else to explain. The iPhone simulator lets you simulate the iPhone on your Mac, not PC, just Mac, and um, you can test your applications that you code in Xcode, and you can use Safari, Photos, Contacts, and Settings like you would on any iPhone. It does not have the App Store or Mail or anything like that because it's for testing purposes only. Let me stress that. Testing purposes only. Okay? So to get this, you need to go to developer.apple.com, which you can find in the description for this video. And then you'll need to click on the iPhone Dev Center link. Once you get here, you'll need to whoops. You'll need to sign in with your Apple Developer account. If you don't have an iPhone Apple Developer account, sorry, um, then you'll need to use your Apple ID to create an Apple developer account and it's free it just asks you a whole bunch of questions you would just hit sign up over here but since I'm already logged in I'll just go straight to the next step as of right now iPhone OS 3.2 is the latest one out so we're gonna download that one so you go to downloads and it just takes you down here and then you want to find the one that says Xcode 3.2.2 and iPhone SDK 3.2 now, uh, right now you can download this and then once it gets done downloading you can continue with this video once it gets done downloading you install it like normal I'm not sure if you have to restart I forget now it's been forever but after you're done installing and everything you'll go to your Macintosh HD open up the developer folder and then to get to the uh, simulator you'll go to platforms iPhone simulator platform developer applications iPhone simulator once you click it the iPhone simulator will come up and it will have these four applications uh, split out evenly I think I forget but I've added a whole bunch of web app games and Google Voice web app and Facebook so this is not what it will look like but you can see you can use Safari just like normal um, it actually pulls the bookmarks from your Safari on your Mac so you can go to any website that you have bookmarked on your Mac as well. So it's going to load up my website real quick. You can rotate it by going to hardware and going rotate left or right. And you can usually play quick time movies. Don't know why mine isn't working. But everything works peachy except you can't watch YouTube because of course it doesn't have the YouTube app but that's normal so um, once you're done playing around with the iPhone you can go to hardware choose device and choose iPad and it will load up a tiny version of an iPad and I'm just gonna rotate it first you can go to window scale 100% to make it look like a real -er iPad and now you have a full resolution so you can check out everything on here and I have to say, Safari for iPad really is pretty awesome. Um, not much else that you can do. Um, that's pretty much the simulator. But uh, if you want to code for this, then you will go to Macintosh HD Developer um, SDKs, I think. No, wrong one. I think no it's applications and then you go Xcode and then from here you can try to uh, create your own app and if you think that it's good enough to be in the App Store you can sign up for an iPhone developer account which costs $99 USD uh, for the standard one and for the enterprise one I think is like 130 or so I forget now but Connor Dimples282 has been making little apps 
for the iPad and iPhone on here and you can just play around with it and once you're done playing with it you can build it and run it in the simulator so there isn't really much else you can do that's just about it so if you want to email me my email address is gavin at gavinroscamp.com website is gavinroscamp.com you can subscribe to my blog at blog.gavinroscamp.com which is updated every sunday you can subscribe through rss or you can follow my twitter at twitter.gavinroscamp.com i'm at gtt news that is my specific GTT account, so I will post everything GTT related on that. So, not much else, so I will see you next month.